Well, there's another state official who could try to run for president in 2024, Gavin Newsom. The question is, will he try? I think Mark's adamantly shaking his head yes. Yeah, so here to talk more about the governor of California's possible decision is KOSI contributor and AM760 radio host, Mr. Mark Larson. Mark, what could go wrong? Everything's oh, so well, great in know. this state. Back. <laughs> Ask Kamala Harris. It worked out well for her. She didn't even make it out of the starting block to the to the primaries when she ran among That's right. 17, 18 That's right. First one off the stage. 2019. Um, yeah, does Gavin Newsom have a thought of running for president, you think? I mean, that's what he thinks of. He's been thinking about that, I believe, since he got out of bed as mayor of, of San Francisco sure. back when he was Mr. Kimberly Guilfoyle back in the day. <laughs> and uh, he, he went way back in history. And then uh, he would start with whatever whatever would be even the most progressive. You know, he had to get some tracks on that. It's like, we eh, forget the Constitution. We'll use, you know, we'll use that instead of Charmin today. I mean, that's kind of how it started. Then he went on for eight years as lieutenant governor of California under Jerry Brown. Now, Jerry Brown version 1.0 ran for president back in 1980. That also didn't work well. In fact, that, I believe, is when the state did this, um, this new law, which Gavin Newsom was reminded about over the last couple of weeks, where when the governor leaves the state, he's really not the governor. The office doesn't follow you um, like, like the president of the United States. So, so when he was off in Central America or whatever, he wasn't officially governor. That was done, I believe, originally because Jerry Brown kept wanting to run for president. They said, well, this will teach him. He'll go out of town, and then we'll have a lieutenant governor in charge. And at the time, it was a, uh, yeah. it was a Republican, Mike Herb. So you know, Newsom has been, been positioning all the way along to be the more progressive candidate. And if you look at what he was tweeting before he left for two weeks on his spring break, um, it was three tweets that were all about other states. It was about Texas. It was about Florida. He came back uh, with this last... Tuesday, I believe it was, and his uh, first tweet was about a vote in Oklahoma. Now, you don't do that the, without mentions, really, of California. He did a New York Times interview where he barely touched on homelessness and crime and whatever. It's just, it's the grand national stage. So the betting is that he'll look to 2028, because Biden says he'll run again yeah. <laughs> in 2024 wow. if, <laughs> if he stays healthy. Well... Um, Newsom, you know, is playing, he's a calculated political animal, it's worked very well for him, and the rest of the country doesn't live here. Now, if you're, if you're a Gavin Newsom fan, you're thinking, this is fantastic, what are you talking about? But a lot of people are concerned about this, and, and it, again, the history has not been really good for governors who want to get out of the state where they reached prime time, well, an exception Bill Clinton, but he wasn't as far to the left as Newsom is. What a slap in the face, though, locally, like you were mm -hmm. saying, with all these uh, tweets and references to everything happening outside oh, yeah. of his own jurisdiction where yeah. we're all, you know, suffering here. He's, he's obsessed with uh, Rick DeSantis in Florida and mm -hmm. uh, the governor there and Greg Abbott in, in Texas always taking shots. And he'll like to say that if it wasn't for all the things we did under, uh, under the COVID restrictions, hey, some worked, a lot of them didn't, uh, he will just say, well, tens of thousands of more people, thousands more would have, have died. Well, there's a big report this week that was put together by some really smart people, including economist Stephen Moore, who's on my show all the time. And they basically said, you know, California, Florida, California, Texas, pretty much the same in the COVID stuff. But Newsom's world is, let me take a shot at Texas, let me take a shot at Florida. And it's always calculated to say, in case DeSantis runs, I'm the shinier one here. Well, well the, the other thing, we got to, the French laundry pictures aren't going away. No. The stadium pictures aren't going away with uh, Magic Johnson and when they were taking all the pictures with no mask. Well, they when paused was between to... bites. He, yeah. Remember, he said that. That's right. That's right. Photo. So that's not going away. We've lost a congressional seat under his watch. People are flooding, are, are, are flooding in droves leaving yeah. the state. It's like, and, and I always say this, because my, I have a, a friend, one of my best friends, said I've had it. He sold everything he had here. He moved his family to Dallas, Texas. He loves it. He says, I'm tired of giving all that tax money away. Yeah, and the Texans say if you come to California, don't, don't you bring your, you know, your Newsom values with exactly, you. Exactly, exactly. But here's the reality. The, and I always say this. They say, yeah, you go to Austin because that's, that's where they It's nice. Yeah. The U-Haul index doesn't lie. And every single right. weekend, I sit at this desk, and I, I, I will open up the U-Haul website. And just to give you a perspective, right now, today, if you want to take a 20-foot U-Haul box truck from San Diego to Dallas, it's 4000 Five hundred and thirty-one dollars. If you want to take that same twenty-foot box truck from Dallas to San Diego, it's fourteen hundred bucks. Wow! Wow! Plus gas. 
Well, well, it's gas, yeah, yeah but yeah. they got to get those trucks back. Yeah, they're gonna be one, going one way to, to Texas or Florida, so they're that, like, okay, we have a uh, supply and demand issue. There's another reason why you could tell that Newsom just loves to run for president, because what else can he do? I mean, he's, he's uh, born, I think, in 1967. He's kind of in the prime. He loves being on television. We know that. And, and on any other sort of digital platform. And, tweeting about whatever, but but when he's asked about it, he'll say, oh, no, I don't intend to run for president. Well, then he joins, let's see, Elizabeth Warren, uh, Bill Clinton back in the day, uh, Cory Booker, the senator, Senator Spartacus, right. as he called himself <laughs> from New Jersey. So uh, it's interesting to watch. And I still remember it from friends in Arkansas when Bill Clinton was uh, was running. And again, Bill Clinton was much more moderate as a Democrat. So, you know, he, he was successful based on the time and with, with Bush 41. But the joke in Arkansas was at Thanksgiving that year after the election, they said, well, happy Thanksgiving. We're sending our turkey to Washington. <laughs> so, <laughs> there you go. Yeah. So well, we'll, we'll see. But that's, that's the positioning right now. And you don't exactly have a long line of people who want to be governor in California either. So there's a lot of different dynamics. And, and another wild card is this uh, question that came up in the last week about Dianne Feinstein not having right. her cognitive powers as sharp as they used to be. And that's interesting. Democrats have been murmuring about that behind the scenes. Uh, they are not saying that publicly. She denied it, and she's had some moments that make you wonder. Uh, they're not saying that about Biden. But remember, when Newsom is, is governor, let's say that becomes an open seat, then he can appoint the next senator, as he did with, mm. uh, with Padilla. What I don't know is if they could put Kamala Harris. This is my, my theory, because Kamala Harris is a problem. The reason Biden is staying there longer is because she hasn't been ready for prime time. So. I don't know if it's, uh, well, the constitutional scholars check this. I mean, could Newsom reappoint in a, in a fast move Kamala Harris back to the Senate, and then they can put a better number two in the unit? And then it's an opportunity for Newsom. Wait a minute. <laughs> You never know. We'll see how this one shakes out. All right, Mark Larson But the, but the big question, does he have aspirations of running for president? I would just say, you think? Yeah, that's no. been the plan all along. That's right. Yeah, to your point. All right, thanks, Mark. Thank you, Mark.